All right, sorry about that, but I, uh, I have a dog too. <laughs> so uh, sometimes he gets a little excited. Um, but, but what do I mean by that? Okay, uh, you know, um, your, your boss is probably a very busy person with a lot of, conf with, with a lot of information to manage and, uh, and all kinds of people to, to work with and stuff like that and uh, a lot of pressures for production, you know. And uh, it's probably not that he, he, he wants to discourage. He probably would love to experiment. Uh, or, or maybe, but um, you know, to, to do experiments and do it in an uncontrolled way and yield questionable results or uncertain results is not something that a boss is going to get excited about. So, so here's a couple of things you can, uh, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can approach him in a systematic way, presenting the problem and presenting a way that you're going to execute this trial. Right? And that perhaps you're going to incorporate a backup me mechanism that helps ensure that there's minimal loss of press time, quality, or anything like that. And uh, that you're going to document certain things to demonstrate pretty convincingly, convincingly one way or the other whether or not your idea works. So let me just give you a, quick, a, a few quick ideas that come, comes to mind, right? Let's say, you know, okay, so let's say that you're interested in doing this thing and you want to do a little, a little homework and, and set it up for your boss. Well, let, you know, one of the things you can do is, you know, how is speed affected by this? All right? You might have a history of what the, what the speeds you're able to achieve now are and against which you'll be able to compare the results of doing your, your test and seeing uh, if you can get more speed out of the machine, right? Now let's say the speed's not your thing, you, do, you, you would like to maintain the same speed or you couldn't even go any faster, but you'd like to improve the quality. Well, how are you going to measure the quality? How are you going to demonstrate uh, that whether, there's a, whether it's the same, whether it's improved, or whether there's a quality diminished, right? So, so quality is another thing. And so then you have to f you figure out how are you going to measure this? Well. Uh, for example, let's say you were going to set up a trial you had a, and you, know, you have this situation where the, this white is and it's been holding all that stuff like that. Maybe there's a way for you to uh, visually judge um, among a team or, or people who are going to evaluate, hey, uh, you, you know, a blind test, this one is better than that one. Or there's a way that you can uh, you know, judge the opacity of the white or the pin holding level, right? So, but uh, I'll leave it at that. The point is that if, in, if in, maybe if instead of simply approaching your boss with the concept as, uh, you know, I want to give this thing a try, and then your boss is just thinking that you're gonna, you guys are going to be running around and putting all this stuff on, and, and you know, who knows what's going to happen, and who knows what's going to happen, you know, I've got too much to do. Well, maybe instead of doing that, you can say, hey, look, uh, we can, uh, we're, we're going to measure these things at the end of this trial to see uh, whether or not this is a good idea, and and by the way, and if you let us, this is how we're going to set it up so we can minimize any impact, right? Now, on top of the fact that now you've presented your boss with an intelligent way that this thing is going to be managed, uh, you've also demonstrated uh, uh, initiative and interest that he might he's going to find a little bit more difficult to say no to, all right? And now finally. Let's say that you do a good job of this and all of that. I mean, if one of my guys came to me like that, uh, no matter what the idea was, I'm, if there's no damage going to be done, I'm probably going to let him give it a shot. If somebody shows that much initiative, they deserve a, a shot. I might be proven wrong, okay? Uh, but let's say you're in a situation where um, you're not going to get any satisfaction. Don't disrespect your boss. Um, I recommend that if you're unhappy with your boss, and I'm not saying that this situation is causing you any grief with your boss, but, but let's say that, that it is, because if, 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 if this is an unreasonable situation, it could be a situation where morale is low, right? Uh, never, don't ever disrespect your boss. Uh, you know, you expect respect too, but you know, don't do, don't do, do things you're going to regret. Show respect, and, uh, and if you have to find another job, but he's, he is the guy who makes the decisions, or the lady who makes the decisions. I think you're talking about a guy, a boss man here. So, uh, 
keep your cool, and uh, if you don't get a shot, them's is the breaks, brother. And so you got to try something else, or maybe find yourself a job somewhere where people are more innovative and willing to try ideas that their uh, employees present them. All right, bigot? So let me see what else you got here. Uh, anybody seen an issue on this? Uh, my boss won't let me try this. Okay, yeah, it's on a gearless. Uh, I can't tell you anything about the gearless servo press. I think uh, things about bounce and everything like that apply anywhere. The magnet is a some difference in magnitude, maybe, but you're gonna experience bounce no matter what you do, uh, to one degree or another. Okay. Now let's see. Turn uh, Tim writes. Okay, now in a, in a little bit I'm going to also, uh, I, see, am I, going to talk more about I may or may not do any, another thing, I have to refer to my notes, so uh, thanks for your time guys.